Hello, I'm Susie Church of Craft. Hello, all the dinner parties. I hope you're having a lovely evening. I hope you've had some lovely food. And uh, this is the final dinner party of the season. I'm gutted. It's a little bit sad. I know. But it's been, been a so great good. season and uh, we've so absolutely good. loved it. And uh, how good was the weekend? It was so good. I loved it. I, I particularly loved it. Eli, Eli, on Eli Sunday. was dancing. Oh, it was Saturday. just like, if you didn't see it after the 11 service, Eli was. Uh, Check out he Ali's just Instagram. Went mental, didn't he? Yeah. He was really good. Cool. But all the creative talent, all the uh, dancers, the singing, it was just. Uh, it was really good. And it's everyone's amazing. dressed up really nice it as was well. Gorgeous. Particularly, uh, who was it? Who was the. George and Dora. George and Dora, that I was it. I think they stole the show. They stole the show. Randy was pretty cool as well, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to steal his. And did um, everyone here next, next year, Ali is going to wear the cloth? He has promised it. <laughs> I said it. In front of everybody. <laughs> so he's as got soon to as do I it. got up close and looked at it, though, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do that, actually. You are, though. It's too late. You've committed. <laughs> I'm too white. And yeah. how good was Project 180 so in Kimoji? Like, so absolutely phenomenal. I loved it. Um, Thanks so much to everyone who got involved in that as well. Amazing. Honestly, the stories we've had out of that have just been amazing. So, uh, hearing so, so many uh, people so grateful for it. And also, just uh, we just heard today about 20 people. We were, uh, sorry, we had our City Hearts Family Day on the Saturday. And about 20 of the parents signed up for a business education course, so, so good. which is really cool. So it means you get to work with them really closely and really help that community uh, gain their own wealth, gain yeah. their own opportunities and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing it's about It's so that. exciting. Really cool. It's going to be amazing. And uh, we just want to say thank you to all of our dinner party hosts. Can you please give them a round of applause for hosting you guys every week and coordinating food and just creating a space where you can come and meet in our midweek -week gatherings. We really, really appreciate you. Enjoy so the break much. and uh, come back refreshed for the new season uh, when we begin again in August. Yeah, so tonight you're going to be talking uh, on Pastor Dave's message. What a great message, gosh. Awesome. Uh, an amazing message, all about the parable of the weeds. And uh, I love the fact that he talks about we got a fun, fun ice seller just pooping away. <laughs> pooping away? That's the wrong word. Um, Continue. <laughs> it was just a great voice. It just all about um, not being judgmental. And I thought, I think, oh man, what a great, what a great thing for the church to be known for. Uh, that you don't feel judged when you come through our doors. That you feel like this is a place where. Whoever you are, whatever you've done, you're welcome here. And if you're new to dinner parties tonight, um, I guess a lot of people's insecurities come from not knowing how people respond if they know the real me. Um, but just honestly, we're all messed up in some way. Everyone's got some issues somewhere. Karen's got loads. Um, Don't get me started on him. <laughs> but you know, like we, we all, what we just realize is that God loves us. He cares about it. He doesn't judge us. Uh, through Jesus, he accepts us completely. And that's really the message uh, that Hope City Church and Christianity has, is that you are accepted, you're loved, you're cared for. And uh, I'd love you guys to talk about that tonight. Just talk about how we can be a church that doesn't judge, how we can be a church that welcomes whosoever, uh, how we can make sure that there's no prejudices. Because even I guess even in our culture, even in a culture that's open, um, there's still prejudices, there's still some innate stuff that we hold on to, some things that may be under the surface but we're not really aware of that. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, and so it's just, it's just a great message for, for us to talk about and how we can observe ourselves being judgmental about ourselves. Because uh, the first person we often judge is ourselves, we judge our own heart. Uh, someone said we judge uh, our own internal struggles against other people's highlight reel, uh, which is such a truth that you know often we're so critical of ourselves first. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So yeah, have a great night discussing that. Um, and, and don't forget this weekend we have got Pastor Siobhan flying in all the way from Hope City, Frankfurt for our Super Sunday services. So don't miss it. We've got 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. She is prophetic. She is powerful. You are absolutely going to love her. You're going to be inspired and really set up for this next season. And so invite someone. Great week yeah. to bring someone along.
and also on Saturday we've got our She yeah, Is Resilient yeah. Garden Party. I am so excited. We've been planning and it's making it awesome. wall hangings. Thank you, Yako. We love the garden. <laughs> So you're gonna love it. We've got mocktails, we've got nibbles, we've got some performances, we've got some surprises, and Pastor Siobhan's gonna be there talking about how we can be resilient as women of God. So um, I'd love to see you there. If you haven't registered, naughty, naughty, get registered today. I'm gonna to close registrations on Thursday. Uh, so you've got 24 hours to get registered in. It's gonna so be she's good. Do that. She's smiling, but she's angry. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. We've got 60 ladies booked in. We're going to have a great time. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks so much for everyone who's uh, just connected into small groups uh, or dinner parties over this last year. Um, we hope that it's been such a strength to you that you built a great community. Listen, don't stop meeting just because there's no program. Uh, this is family. Invite uh, us over for dinner. Yeah, we'd love we that. We would love that. We still haven't tasted foo foo, so if anyone would like to invite us over for a foo foo party. I've mashed it, but they yeah. never actually let me no, eat it. They just they want my muscles. Either. Our neighbours let us help them make it, but then they take it up to their kitchen <laughs> and eat it without us. So listen, just make sure you're hanging out, just arrange loads of social activities, invite us to every single one, um, but we'd love to hear loads of stories of just the connections continuing through the vacation series, because this is a season, this is a, a family, it really is, and so we'd love you to feel like you're connected into that family over the vacation period. So good. All good. Have a great night. Have a great night. God See bless. you at the weekend. Bye. Bye.